Can artificial intelligence actually build a playable version of Minecraft from scratch? Today we find out. I'm putting ChatGPT against the new Gemini 3 Pro in a 5 round coding gauntlet that gets progressively more impossible. We're starting with the ultimate test, recreating the core mechanics of the game from scratch. But we aren't stopping there. Will the code hold up or will the game crash? Let's get into round 1. First let's start off with ChatGPT. Let's ask it, make a clone of the game Minecraft. Let's see what it cooks up. Okay, give us the code. Now let's copy and paste it into Visual Studio Code. Uh, yeah, the screen is black. Let's try and fix it. I have no hope anymore, but let's just try it out again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can break blocks. I can place them. It's a better start than last time, but I can fly. Let's try and improve on this. It works now. Make the terrain larger and cover more area. Make it deeper as well. I don't want to fly. Give give me normal physics. Add more block types. Create randomly generated trees around the area. Okay, let's see if I added everything we asked for. Let's try it out. It's uh, very laggy. Seems to work. The physics work besides the leaves. Not bad, not bad. Let's ask it. Fix the FPS. It's very laggy. Let it be 120 FPS. Fix the physics with the trees. I don't want to go through them. They should be like the other blocks. Okay, let's see if the performance is better and let's see if the physics on the trees actually works. Okay, I'm in the game. Yeah, the performance is way better. Yeah, it's not as laggy as before. There's a few less trees. Uh, the physics works on them that's nice now let's give it this prompt to create its own inventory okay so i said it added the inventory so let's try it out let me break a block yeah it adds to my sand i press e i can see my inventory or the physics on that yeah the physics work yeah that's pretty good all right now let's see how gemini can do let's ask it make a clone of the game minecraft all right let's try it out Okay, um, I, I keep falling through the floor when I spawn, but the graphics looks great. I have an inventory bar already. Yeah, let's just try to fix the physics. I keep falling through the floor when I spawn. Please fix it. Okay, it said it fixed it, but yeah, I keep falling through the floor. Um, maybe I didn't give it the right prompt. Let me try again. I still keep falling through the floor. The block physics don't work correctly i can't stand on them i said it fixed the code oh yeah it looks like it did okay i move like a fucking snail i mean the physics looks good placing blocks is kind of broken so i can break some blocks yeah let's try to fix all that in one prompt i'm way too slow i move like a snail placing blocks is kind of broken it places inside of other blocks it shouldn't do that wazd is inverted fix it all please let's see if the game's any better now okay yeah i move way faster yeah w a s and d is still inverted let's just try to fix the movement again w a s and d doesn't follow the camera correctly it stays in one place even if the camera is moved fix it please wsd should always work in the direction the camera is facing okay let's see if the movement is fixed now yeah it's perfect and i can jump too i jump really fucking high i jump two blocks high okay now let's put in the prompts that we also gave ChatGPT. okay let's give it this prompt and see how it does nice it's cooking okay it implemented everything we asked for now let's just try it out okay yeah it takes away blocks when you place them when you break them it also adds i mean yeah it's that it works pretty well yeah the trees are randomly generated yeah it's a nice world okay so for this round i think gemini takes it okay now for the next round we're gonna ask both ais to create a jump scare in the game first let's start off with ChatGPT. add the jump scare to this code instead okay so it should be incorporated with the working code now so yeah let's try it out so it said it should jump scare between 20 to 40 seconds after you load into the game so let's see what happens what the hell oh my god no way yeah, yeah. that was freaky as fuck <laughs> okay yeah now let's ask gemini the same thing add a jump scare into the game all right i should have added the jump scare 
And when I mine stone blocks, there's a 5% chance of me getting jump scared. So let's try it out. Um, I can't really. Okay, there we go. I can't break the blocks. Why can't I break the blocks? Yeah, we're going to have to fix that. For some reason, when I dig down, I can only break the blocks below me and not in front of me. Okay, so supposedly it fixed it. Let's try now. I mined out. Yeah, now I can mine. Oh, oh, and I made a sound. Oh my god. Yeah, it's definitely more terrifying than ChatGPT's version. And it makes an annoying fucking sound. At least it's not a freaky scare. Yeah, so this round definitely goes to Gemini. Now for the next round, we're gonna have both AIs generate a new mob concept and implement it into the game. First, we're starting with ChatGPT. Okay, for some reason, it only wrote text. So this time, I'll ask it, implement it into the code. Okay, give us the new script. So let's see what mob it created. Okay, we have it running. Are we oh, and it flies. What the fuck is that? Oh, my health is on the top right. I don't know where my sword is. Yeah, how do you kill this thing? And I died. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have a sword model, but I killed it. I don't know what abilities it has. So let's just check it out. All right, let's just see if the lunge attack works, I guess. Is it going to lunge at me? I don't think it's supposed to be flying either. And it goes through blocks, so... Yeah, this is kind of a fail by ChatGPT. Freaky scare. All right, now let's see how Gemini does. Okay, now let's put this prompt into Gemini and see what it creates. All right, it made the mob and it called it the Void Watcher. I don't know what these AI's obsession is with void mobs, but uh, what the fuck? Uh, why am I stuck? Let me try it again. Okay, I'm not stuck anymore. It looks like I have a fucking shovel as my sword. Oh, these guys definitely have special abilities. Okay, that's a pretty good mob. Now let's just ask it to generate a model for the sword. Generate a model for the sword. Okay, now it created the model for the sword. So let's check it out. Okay, I have it equipped. Okay, it looks like a BBC with a diamond skin. Every time I press left click, it sucks the sword. It's cool, I guess. See, I think Gemini was way more creative and appealing. So in my opinion, I think Gemini won this round as well. So now for the next round, both the AIs are going to create a portal that goes to another biome. We're going to make this prompt vague so it creates its own biome and we'll see how it goes. Create a portal that goes to another biome. Be creative and make your own. Let's send it and let it cook. All right, it generated the code. Now let's run it and see what it gives us. Okay, so I have ChatGPT's version up. All right, let's try to kill this mob first so it doesn't annoy us. All right, I think it's dead now. Yeah, the performance is way worse. Yeah, I can see the other biome. Let's just go through the portal. Oh, yeah, and I am... Yeah, now I'm stuck. All right, oh, I can move now. Okay. I mean, the biome is pretty cool. It just... It looks like it's another portal. Yeah, it gives, like, end vibes. I'm not sure if I like the originality much, but it's something. I mean, it has transparent blocks. So now let's see how Gemini can do. All right, let's just copy and paste the same prompt into Gemini and see what happens. All right, it worked, but this time it gave me a portal block to use instead of spawning its own portal. So let's see how this works. I mean, it looks pretty basic. Let's see what happens if I walk into it. Oh, that's a pretty cool transition. Um, now I'm stuck. Am I inside blocks? The world is pretty unique. I like how original it is. Just don't like the fact that I'm stuck. Let's just try to fix that with one prompt. When I spawn in the new biome, I am stuck inside of blocks. Make sure that doesn't happen. All right, it said it fixed the spawning issue, so see how it works. I really do like the transition. Okay, yeah, now I get spawned and I'm not stuck. Okay, so the mobs are back. I have anti-gravity. The blocks are way different and the pattern is pretty weird, but I do really like the originality. So yeah, in my opinion, Gemini takes this round as well. Let's move on to the next round. So for the next round, we're going to have both AIs generate random events that trigger periodically. These events could be something like anti-gravity or blocks falling. So let's see how these AIs interpret it and let's let them cook. 
Nice idea. I like the system is messing with you vibe. Yo, why is ChatGPT so freaky? All right, it said it'll add random events like gravity tests, blood moon rising, echo storm detected. All right, let's copy the code and see what happens. Okay, so I have the ChatGPT version open. Let's just kill this guy real quick. Let's see if we can get the events to trigger. I wonder how often the events trigger. So... Oh, okay. Everything feels heavy. I mean, I couldn't jump before and I still can't jump now. Alright, I think it's done. But it's kind of weird. Like, I can only jump when I'm climbing up blocks. I mean, I don't think it matters much. Let's just wait until the next anomaly. One thing I have to complain about, though, is the performance is way better on Gemini's version. And I'm not sure why that is. If you know why, please let me know in the comments. Okay, uh, another gravity event. All right, gravity is not that strong anymore, so I can jump hella high. They don't last that long. I mean, it's not really original. I don't really like the idea that much. I mean, it works, but now let's see how Gemini can do. So I'll copy and paste the same code for Gemini. Now let's see what happens. Okay, I finished generating it, so let's try it out. Let me kill these stupid mobs real quick. All right, let's just wait for the events to occur. So it says every 30 to 60 seconds, a random event will trigger for 15 seconds. So hopefully it'll happen soon. I can already see what a couple of them would be. So there's moon gravity, hyper speed, and the blindness. Oh, bouncy boots. I like the originality on this one. It's way different. Not everything's to do about gravity. I see there's two things at least, but... There's one to do about speed and fog, which is pretty cool. Yeah, let's just wait for a few more to occur. Also, the alert messages it gives are just way more appealing. Oh, yeah, the blindness event. I mean, yeah, it's just very foggy. It works well. Yeah, it fucks up my vision. Let's wait until we get the hyperspeed. Let me see if it just works in the other dimension as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, it does work in the other dimension, but I got the same event, the blindness falls. I still want to see the hyperspeed event. Oh, let me just see what events there are. Oh, there's also an earthquake event. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's just keep playing until we get the other events. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yo, this is way cooler. Fuck yeah, it just spams my mouse around. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I mean... Yeah, nothing to complain about there. Still waiting on the hyperspeed though. I have the moon gravity event. But I'm already in the other dimension, so... And my gravity is fucked now. Yeah, I go so high. I keep not getting the hyperspeed event, so I'll just ask it to give it to me. Alright, so I reduced the timer, and I think it made it... So that hyperspeed is the only event that triggers. So let's... Oh yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I like the originality. The implementation is way better. It's smoother. Like, overall, Gemini crushed ChatGPT yet again. Gemini is still undisputed. That's about it for this video. So let me know down in the comments what video you guys would like to see next.